if you have no money, you have to be creative. But the second thing is you, you, you are never just creative for creative sake. You are creative commercially because I had to think, how does everything I do lead to a sale? My most creative work ever was done during those four years by far. And this is going to sound crazy. So we got a Hollywood grade camera and then we blew fruit up. But we had to invent the world's smallest known charge because when we started blowing up raspberries and blueberries, the, the electrical charge was just like. Boom. What I discovered there is my most creative work ever was done during those four years by far, by far, because what happens is when you have a budget, what, what you do psychologically is you go, what did we do with this budget last year? And you tend to, it's, it's a bit like a path dependence. You know, I, I noticed it when I, I went from there to, a, a, the, well, the number one energy drink, the number one fruit drink and much bigger business, huge resources, huge teams, very professionally run. You know, so I went from literally one extreme to the other. When I'm in that scenario, you tend to go, well, you know, each brand's got 10 million pounds to spend. So they go, right, I'll do some TV, I'll do some radio, I'll do some in-store, you know, I'll, I'll do some social, right? Right? Yeah, you spread your risks, don't you? And, and, and each department, you, you've created departments to manage those things whose livelihood depends on it. So you're sitting there looking at the sort of 20 strong social team and you're thinking, well, if I cut social this year, you lot are out of jobs, you know what I mean? So, what, so you know, well, well you, you, it tends to make you um, do what you've always done because the, the whole machinery, it feels too big a job to start from scratch and go, well, what should we be doing? If, you know, if, if, if you started this over again, what would you do? So it becomes quite hard to create change. Now, this is why small brands exist, of course, because small brands can move like, you know, speedboats rather than tankers. But going back to the creativity point, what I noticed is the advantage in a small business when you have no resources is, the question I had to ask myself is, how can my packaging become a media campaign? So one of the things I was really proud of is um, that the brand, the brand was called Juice Burst, right? So it's a very simple idea. And it, before the packaging was just like a, it, it literally was, if, if you Google fruit and you took the most normal looking box of fruit picture, that's what it was, right? It was literally like this fruit box, Juice Burst, and it was written in Times New Roman before. It was like, it was like the most like, like textbooky sort of, you know, thing. Anyway, so I worked with this amazing design agency and I said, look, create me something that, that, that's going to be talked about, that's going to like, you know, effectively every buyer in the country is going to want a part of. And um, really simple idea. The idea we came up with was let's explode the fruit because it's called juice burst. Let's exaggerate flavor by, by um, and what we did is we actually invented and this is going to sound crazy. We had a four day production. It was the camera that was used on the Matrix to do all the slow-mo, right? So we got a Hollywood grade camera and then we blew fruit up. Right, and we filmed the fruit being being literally exploding in slow motion. It was just, it was the most dramatic thing ever, right? But we had to invent the world's smallest known uh, charge because when we started blowing up raspberries and blueberries, the the electrical charge was just like boom, and then I like, completely like smashed the smithereens. So we actually had to. This guy had to divide the charge into one thirty tooth. So I'm not quite sure whether that's the way you say it, but anyway, he had to design a way of making the charge so tiny that when you exploded the blueberry, it, it still kept parts of it together and it looked beautiful when we filmed it.